Have you ever heard about the ghosts of the Black Dragoons that were part of Andrew Jackson's road building teams as he brought his soldiers up Jackson's Highway that we now call Highway 12? It seems that the road had been built at great expense and was a difficult and swampy area to cross. The road stretched from Nashville all the way down to the Gulf so that as they crossed the swamps and the causeways that they built, they had to build over 35 bridges. But in this particular area, on this creek, it was just a crossing spot and it didn't require a bridge. The incident that happened here occurred in 1817, according to one account by a guy, a novelist named Cobb and a historian. Andrew Jackson's men arrived at the crossing during the spring flood. He was eager to have them ford the creek and ordered two dragoons across. They got caught up in the current and were swept away and their bodies were never recovered. The story goes that on dark cloudy nights, the apparitions of the dead dragoons can be seen on horseback wearing plumes in their hats. Large, wicked looking swords hang from their sides. The horses rear and plunge through the air about the height that the creek usually rises to in a high flood. There is also a great white figure that darts up suddenly with a shriek out of the dark pool and then falls back heavily again as if pulled from a, with a dead weight. Now did this tragic accident actually occur here? We, we understand from historical documents that Andrew Jackson probably did not travel this part of the military road himself, but his men did. Not far from here on a hill overlooking this crossing was a grave of a U.S. soldier who died during the construction of the military road whose, whose grave site marks him as roughly 1817. No one knows for sure how many men's lives were lost building Jackson's military road, but it stands to reason that the drowned dragoons in this legend could have been two of the nameless men who died to make the road a reality. And that is my story from Highway 12, Military Road in Columbus, Mississippi. Thank you for joining me on this.